Chael, I need mm. your prediction. Will he find the chin? Will he win by knockout? No, I don't think so. I don't think he can knock Sterling out. Look, I think Sterling's going to stay too busy. I think he's too smart. You know, I love what Teddy Atlas said earlier about the coaches. Tim Welsh deserves a lot of respect, but this is his first title fight. Ray Longo's got two, three champions in the gym at all times, and I just think that Sterling knows how to do this match. I really do, and I also think there's something to be said for momentum. 91 days was not that long time ago, and that's helpful, in my opinion. I, I got to agree with you, Chael. Uh, I just don't see, I think Sean O'Malley is going to touch gold someday. And I got to give a lot of credit to Tim Welch as well. I spent a lot of time training with Tim. And for him to be as young as he is and his fight is fight at a high level, now coach at a high level, that's very complimentary to how Sean has gotten here. But I just don't think it's going to be Sean's night. I think Aljamain, he knows how to fight this fight. He's done it before against Corey Sanhagen, and he's done it in the gym. He's more than prepared in the, the Ray Longo bit. I mean, there, if there was a coach's Hall of Fame, he's the first ballot number one guy at the top of the list. And to have him in your corner, yeah. It, it, can I ask you a little bit different way? Well, can Aljo take him down when he wants? I believe so, yes. Okay. I okay. think he will, and that's because he's not just going to rush in. Aljamain knows how to set up his takedowns. He does it off of reactions, and he does it off of offense with his kicks, with his striking. He can do a lot of things that's going to surprise Sean O'Malley to set up the takedowns to throw him off of his game. So he's going to have to do that, though. Sean O'Malley is very prepared for this fight. Will Whaley versus Lemos go the distance, and who leaves the strawweight queen? My uncle won two NBA championships here. By the way, back in the 60s, wow. Mel Kelso, I thought I would name drop that because I just saw the great coach working out. All right, nice. here we go. Wait, we just waited to the end of the show for no you to I've been that. looking for a place to drop it, I'll <laughs> tell you. I didn't know we were at the end of the show. All right, here's the thing. Here's the thing with the co-main event. I, the question is a little bit trick. Look, if it gets stopped, that favors Amanda, in my opinion. I don't think the way Lee's going to stop her, only because I think Amanda's tough. I think she can take the shots. I don't think she's in uh, a, a huge jeopardy to be submitted. That would be very unlikely. If there's a finish, I favor Amanda. Well, in terms of our predictions, I can't let you get close. Yeah, that's good I, advice. Because I disagree. I think if there is a finish, it is going to be Wei Lee, and I think it's going to be by submission. She is Ooh, really? she has fallen in love with the ground, and like I said, bringing in John Wood, who puts an emphasis on MMA wrestling. You pair that with Josh Hinger, and you saw that rear naked choke finish over Carlos Barnes. If there is a finish... I think it's going to be Whaley by submission. Wow. All right. Well, that would be Whaley's ninth submission. Both women are seven and two in their UFC careers. A lot on the line for this one. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.